A man took a tiny white bear cub from the zoo. Now their friendship shocks everyone. Some people dream of swimming with dolphins while others have nightmares about swimming with sharks. But bear trainer Mark Dumas likes nothing more than to share his pool and his bed with a 60-stone polar bear. Meet Mark Dumas, the only man in the world who can swim with a polar bear, which he says is down to much more than just sheer balls. Mark Dumas and his wife Dawn are fearless animal handlers at Beyond Just Bears in Canada, whose unusual pet is a polar bear named A.G. A.G. is a 60-stone or 800-pound polar bear that they managed to train to star in high-budget TV adverts and movies. She's also often seen messing about with Mark, giving him bear hugs, accepting loving kisses, and even swimming with him. But Mark reckons it's down to much more than just being brave and ballsy around such large, potentially dangerous animals, and that it's down to decades of forging a strong friendship. Speaking to Lad Bible, Mark said that he's been with A.G. her whole life, which she also argues is longer thanks to her way of life with him. A.G. has lived with me her whole life, he tells us. She's always there. I'm with her until she passes or I pass. I mean, that's just the way it is. Explaining that in the wild, polar bears usually live until about 15 to 20, he added, She's 23 years old. In captivity, they live until they're roughly between 30 and 35. He also said that the oldest polar bear to live in captivity was 42, setting a good benchmark for what he hopes will be a long life together with A.G. Aggie's life is a really good life. She doesn't have to hunt, all the groceries are brought to her, and it's top quality food. There's not a matter of having to go out on the ice and kill something. She doesn't do that. She actually enjoys going to work. When I pull the trailer out, she gets very excited about the fact that the trailer's there and she's gonna go somewhere. You know, and she's not in a zoo where she just has all the same things. She gets out. Like this one job we have that's plausible right now, she's gonna go play in the snow. What about any hairy moments? Surely an inevitable side effect to owning such a large animal. No, I mean, she bit me when she was young, but that's to be expected, said Mark. You can't teach them not to do something unless they've done it, so with baby bears you're gonna get bit. That's just how baby bears are. That's how you teach them. Even with humans, you have to teach a baby not to bite you. Mark also explained that it's about understanding the animal as each one is very different, something he's well aware of as he's also the proud owner of a six-year-old grizzly bear called Billy, deer, a wolf, reindeer, and formerly mountain lions who passed away because of old age. Billy's a goofball, he says of the grizzly's personality, adding, The thing is, the difference between a grizzly bear and a polar bear is the polar bear has absolutely no sense of humor, and the grizzly bear has a great sense of humor. Surprisingly, though, it's not Aggie or Billy that's the hardest work. It wasn't even the mountain lions. The Eagle Liberty, she's bitchy as hell, explains Mark. You have to be aware of how they are. Eagles are birds, you know. They didn't get the name bird brain for nothing. They're not the smartest creatures in the world, but they sure have nasty tempers. Mark says that while he lives a very happy life with Don and the animals, there are many people who are quick to criticize, whether that's calling him out for recklessly choosing to live with dangerous creatures, with some worrying he'll end up turning into polar bear poop, or slamming his choice to own a wild animal. He tells us, I kind of ignore any criticisms. In fact, not just kind of, I just flat out ignore all that stuff because what do they know? What do these people think they know more than I do? Like, have they ever swam with a polar bear and enjoyed the relationship that I have with this animal? No, they don't. They have no clue. They don't know that I've spent all this time with this animal. I taught her how to swim. I've done all these different things with her. There's humaniacs wherever you go, and that's exactly what I call them, these humaniacs. My question to these people that have these statements about her is, would she be better off in the wild and dead? They don't live that long in the wild. They don't live like that. AG might look cute and cuddly, but we're here to remind you that polar bears are the world's largest terrestrial carnivore and extremely dangerous. While she's civil to her fellow actors, the only people AG willfully interacts with are Mark and his wife, and anyone with donuts because they are her favorite snack. She's liable to be a bit scary towards strangers. She may be symbolistically Canadian, however her manners are woefully un-Canadian. Very sorry about that. The question is whether this bond is really worth the price paid by the animal. She has been in captivity for her entire life and the new habits are completely against her nature. Last but not least, nobody asked her whether this is the life she wanted to live. Could you make a friendship with a predator? If you like this amazing story, please share this video and subscribe to our channel for more.